In this video, I'm going to show you how to create, edit, delete, and move codes and categories. Let's get started adding a code. There are two ways you can do this. You can move your mouse into the codes window and right click. From there, select add code. You can also move up to codes at the menu at the top of the screen, select it, and scroll down to add. A code definition dialog box appears. This dialog box has a number of elements. You have the code name field where you will enter your code name, and then you have under. Each code must be placed under a category. This is where you'll enter your category. You can also choose a color to associate with your code. The description and keywords fields are optional. In the description field, you can give a definition or a detailed description of the code. Specify coding instructions for the coders or give examples. You can also give related codes that may be used in place or in conjunction with this code. The keywords field is also optional. This section allows you to enter words, word patterns, or phrases, each on a separate line, that are characteristic of the code. QDA Miner may then search the text for any of those items using keyword retrieval. You can also assign a shortcut to your code if you choose. Let's get started. As our project is on candidate speeches, we're going to enter a few appropriate codes. Our first code will be local economy. The category that we'd like to put this under would be economic. Once you're done entering your code and your category, you can choose a color. We're going to keep this one at red. We're not going to enter a description or keywords, but we will create a shortcut. E. Once done, simply select Add. We can see that the code has been added to our codebook. Let's go ahead and create a second code. We'll create the code Globalization. This code will fall under the same category of economic. Let's choose a different color. We'll say green. And then add a shortcut. G. Select Add. And we can see that the second code, Globalization, has been added to our codebook. Let's add a third code. We'll call it Ethics. We want to put this code under a new category. Simply type in the new category name. Choose a color. We'll say navy. And in this case, maybe we want to leave a description. We've added our description, moral principles in conducting an activity, and we'll assign a shortcut, S. Select Add, and our new category, Social, has been added along with our new code, Ethics. The codebook is structured hierarchically. It can have up to nine levels of codes and categories. Let's add a subcategory under Social. First, type in your code. Then type in your new subcategory. Select the button on the right and choose a category for which this subcategory will fall under. Choose a color and a shortcut. And then select Add. We have a new subcategory, Power, with the code Reward. You can create several levels of categories at the same time by using the backslash key.
select a color and a shortcut. We've just created the category values, the subcategory conservative, and the code family. Now let's look at moving codes in your code book. You can easily move a code by dragging it and dropping it into a new location. Categories can be moved in the same way. However, QDA Miner will not allow a category to be dropped in a location underneath it. It will also forbid dropping a category at a location if the number of levels resulting from such a move exceeds the highest level allowed for this project codebook. Now let's look at editing a code. There are two ways you can do this. You can select the code you'd like to edit and then right-click your mouse and then scroll down to Edit Code. Alternatively, you can select the code that you'd like to edit, move up to Codes, and then scroll down to Edit. You can edit your code in a number of ways. You can edit the code name, You can also edit the color. You can erase your description. And you can even move the location of the code. Let's put it back under social. Ethics has been changed to ethics and principles, and it's been moved under social. You can also edit a category in much the same way. Select the category that you'd like to edit and right-click your mouse. Scroll down to Edit Code. Or you can move up to the Codes menu at the top, scroll down, and select Edit. A Modify Category, in this case Social, dialog box will come up. It's here where you can change the name of your category or add or edit a description. Deleting a code or a category is easy. Simply select the code or category that you'd like to delete and right-click your mouse. Scroll down to Delete Code. A second way to do this is to select the code or category, move up to Codes at the top of the screen, and scroll down to Delete. You're then asked if you're sure you'd like to delete the code or category. Select Yes. It's important to remember that any codings that have been applied to the document variable will be deleted along with the code or the category.